What's up, y'all? It's been a long week. It really has. It's been a long no school week, okay? So, if you don't know, my name is Raven. What's up? Hey to you too. And welcome back because you've been true. Okay, so don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, turn your post notifications on, and let's get straight to this vlog. Y'all gon' do about it. Big wheels keep rolling, rolling outside. 29, G5, Seaside. I've been losing friends and finding peace. But honestly, that sounds like a fair trade to me. If I ever heard one, and I'm still here outside. Front line, south side. I've been losing friends and finding peace. Honestly. So, I'm about to get ready to cook this marry me chicken. Okay? Um, I got it off TikTok. I'll put the link in the description box below. And I'm just going to go ahead and season this meat. I had lost some chicken tenders. I cleaned them and I cut them up real good. And I'm about to go ahead and season them. Oh, man. Oh, I'm about to write that. Season them. Then I'm going to go ahead and put it in this skillet over here. You know. You know. Get the whipping in the kitchen. But how y'all day been? How y'all week been? How have y'all been? If you in another part of the world, the state, the country. How have your forecast been? Because it's been cold up here, okay? It's been freezing. School has been closed down. Well, for Katie, for the rest of the week. Um, Kamora actually went back today. They go to different schools. Um, when they should have just closed Kamora school down too. But the weather has been crazy. The whole um, lake out there is frozen. It's, it's, it's frozen, okay? I was like, the four ducks, like, what do they do when it's, you know, the water is frozen? Like, how do they eat? I just be thinking about all this stuff. I be feeling sad. So, we fed them yesterday. Um, Y'all know my last vlog, I got up anyway when it was not always snowing, but it was kind of icy a little bit. And went to the gym with the kids and the family. And I hope y'all liked that vlog. I had a good time. I had a good time. Um, I'm using garlic powder too. But while I'm cooking, I was like, I might as well record. I wasn't planning on recording this week. I was just going to come back. I'm using onion powder. I was going to come back next week and um, record. I don't know. It's it, it just been one of those weeks. You know what I'm saying? It's just been one of those weeks. And it's just, I don't know. I really just been in my own little zone, if that makes sense. Um, but I know I still need to record. Um, but I wanna get straight to it, y'all. Let's get straight to the vlog, okay? So you know your girl finished, uh, you know your girl finished the book of Genesis in the bottle, right? I just, I have so many questions. I'm so lost on some things and some things I'm not. Um, Cause some of it is happening now. I'm just confused on if, if you ever read the Bible, you know, <clears throat> God is really an image of, it's of everything. It's like energy almost, right? So, no, we never have met God. Jesus was like a, a real human being like us, right? Like Mary gave him, okay? So, my thing is, if the first two people on earth was Adam and Eve, right? Hear me out. If the first two people on earth was Adam and Eve, where did all these other people come from? Like, where did they come, <laughs> where did they come from, y'all? I'm using state of confusion of uh, season now. I'm just like, what happened? Because I'm trying to make it make sense. It's not making sense to me, okay? So, a lot, I, everybody got different ways of looking and reading and getting their own perception of things, but... Okay, so when I, you know, I know we are made for men. God made women with, with Adam's, with his rib, right? So that's why we have feminine and masculine energy. That's why sometimes women can uphold some of the things, some things men can uphold. In my perception, it's my own thought process, right? Um, because they say we can't do everything they do. But how can we not... I'm not saying everything, but how can we not when we are, we are, we're an image made of you? Like, 
God literally took the rib from Adam to make Eve. You know what I'm saying? So, how? Like, women, we are powerful, okay? I just want you to know that. And don't take power to the head. Like, don't don't take it like that. But we are, okay? Um, Another thing I didn't understand is when Noah came in. So, I, I'm, I'm getting to, to the Noah part, right? And... Noah came in and Noah really don't confuse me. Like, he didn't confuse me, God confused me because God gave Noah a dream and a vision of him letting him know that he was going to flood the world, right? So if he flooded the world and it was Noah, his wife, his two sons, his son's wife, two of every living creature, um, you know, the dove came to Noah after it flooded the whole world, everybody was destroyed in that process because <clears throat> the world was being so simple and so disobedient to God that was his way of restoring the world back <clears throat> due to flood and dying this got me in choco so I'm lost y'all on Noah I'm lost on um, when he land when he seen land when God let him know you know it's gonna be land he, he, he let him know and it was Okay, they got off the boat. Noah lived to be like, it was a hundred something years old. I can't remember the exact number, but it was long. Um, his kids had kids. And then it was like, these people came out of nowhere. And I'm like, where did these people come from? It was like the Egyptians, like Abraham. Well, you know, um, God changed his name. But where did all these people come from? I'm, I'm trying to make it make sense because... If it started with Adam and Eve and was nobody on earth, you know, and then they conceived, had baby, whatever, and then here come Noah, it skips to Noah. But it, it's all these people. Like, was people, did he not flood the whole world? Did he, that's just where I'm at with it. But I've been praying to God to give me clarity on that part. Um, I'm not going to dig in it too deep, but that's where I was at in the book um i did learn a lot about um isaac with his kids and you know as far as leah and rachel how rachel was was it rachel beautiful he wanted was it abraham he wanted to be with rachel but their father wanted him to be with leah but leah couldn't birth kids and leah had her servants to birth the kids for her or whatever her servants however it went it actually made sense to me hold on y'all who came from the how old it was i just don't get it so i'm going to uh, the book i'm reading the book of exodus i actually love the story about prince prince of egypt about how you know pharaoh was so mean he he was just evil like people are really evil people are really conceiving and people will use you and suck you dry and don't give two for real that's like i'm sorry y'all i cooked the chicken already I put some onions and peppers in the skillet with the same skillet that I put the meat in. And now I'm about to get ready to add me some heavy whipped cream. But yeah, that's where I was at on that journey. Um, I'm not measuring it either. I'm just pouring to, to what I think. I forgot to get some tomato paste, but hey, we gonna make it do what it is for right now. I add the spinach and the meat in a minute. Um, but that's where I'm at as far as the Bible and, you know, people will betray you, people will act like they love you and care about you and all that, and they really don't give up about you. Like, I, you know, I ask God all the time, I pray for God to give me discernment to help me understand the difference between what I need to know, you know what I'm saying? And what he want me to know, I'm going to use some tomato sauce since I didn't have no tomato paste. It's the same thing. I don't care. I don't care. Who going to say something to me? Who? Who going to cheat me? Okay. Nah. But yeah. That's just where I was at with it. And I don't know. People just, just got to be careful of your surroundings. Who you let in. I'm telling you, people will put on this persona like they really mess with you. They really care about you. They really want to be around you. They really want to 
shit like they want to help help you grow, you grow with them. But now, nah, when you feel something, you feel something. It's for a reason. And y'all need to stay on business with people. Like I was just talking to my um, Sharice. I was just telling her I think something wrong with me. Like I used to think something wrong with me. No, no. I used to like it's something wrong with me because. You can do something to me. I'm not even talking about that just bad. But like maybe we just had a disagreement or you felt some type of way or whatever that may be. And we just stopped talking. I don't have no emotions for real. Like, I mean, I have emotions. I'm not going to say I don't have emotions. I have emotions. I just, I just don't let that stuff get to me if that makes sense. Like, I don't think about it no more. Like, it's kind of like out of sight, out of mind. And I really don't be caring if that makes sense. I don't know. People say you are Aquarius, but I really don't think all Aquarius like that. Some, some Aquarius just have big hearts. You know what I'm saying? Me, personally, I have a huge heart, but I don't have time to put up with nobody mixed. And it's just me. I really don't. And I'm so serious. Like, I ain't about to go back and forth with you. I ain't about to do none of that. Like, bye. See you later. Even if you see me later. Cause once I'm once I once I'm done, I'm really done. Like, do y'all believe in rekindling friendships too? Like, I don't even believe in rekindling friendships. It's gonna have to take God Himself to make me rekindle anything with anybody. Cause if it depends. If you done done some stuff. As far as like subliminal posts or I know for a fact that you have said some things because only I told you, oh, it's around. It's nothing that you can do to make me nothing. Like it's a it's a wrap. I'm serious. It's like out of sight, out of mind. Like even if I see you, I don't even see you. Like what's your name? What what happened? You know what I'm saying? Are y'all like that? Because I don't like to be like that, but I can be like that. Now, I ain't even gonna say I don't like to be like that. I'm gonna say I'm just like that. And it is what it is. It is what it is, okay? It is what it is. Point blank here. But, I love, I love hard, and I also cut off hard. Like, I do. I really do. Okay, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm back. I'm sorry, but yeah. Uh, you just gotta trust your tuition. Your tuition will never lie to you. It'll never, ever, ever steer you wrong. And I mean never. Let me show y'all this. It looks so good on it. Ooh! Okay, I just had to show y'all that. I had to show y'all that. But just believe in your tuition. It'll never tell you wrong. Um, and I am open to, you know, new friendships. I don't never want to tell God to take nothing away from me by the power of my tongue that this is to happen to me in the future. So I am open to stuff like that. Well, people, you know, and I'm a people's person. I mean, I'm not a people person. I, how can I say this? I'm a people person because I have to be because of my field. But I really don't like being bothered, if that makes sense. I really don't. I do, but I don't. It's like I'm an introvert. <laughs> introvert. It's like, I'm, I'm, I don't know. I just, I don't know. It's just different, okay? I, I can't explain it to you, but it just is. It's just different with me. And then I'm big on picking up on people's energy, like, I'm never wrong about anybody. Never. I don't think I never, nobody has never made me second guess how I feel about them. Okay? And it is what it is. And people have jealousy, like hidden jealousy, envy. Like me and Lee was just talking on the phone. Somebody will tell you, you will tell, no, like me and Lee was talking and we was talking about a certain matter, right? And we were just, Throwing examples. Like somebody will tell you, I want 
I want to start a YouTube channel. Or you tell somebody and they be like, nah, that's too much. Don't do that. Um, it's going to have to take everything out of you. You're definitely going to have to quit doing this and doing that because it's a full-time job. But then when you turn around and look up, they don't start it there. But you just gave me a whole testimony story saying how I or whoever don't need to start their journey, but you start yours. Watch out for people like that, okay? Watch out for people like when you're on your way to becoming where you wanted to be, what you prayed for, what you manifested, a home, a car. Be careful when they say the interest rate high right now. You sure you can afford that? Like, I'm just saying, you know, because it ain't even that you can afford it. You sure that you want to pay that type of car note? And then... I'm fine with my car, my car, no, and then they turn around and go get them a car. Not the car you want, but a car because you said you was going to get a car. I don't want to be around those type of people. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just don't. I don't want to be around those type of people. And if you haven't experienced it and they start to come out now, cut it. Cut it. You got to cut it. And then, how can I say this? People only do what you allow them to do to you. People. I, I had to learn it. People only allow what you let them do to them. Okay? Do to you. My bad. Do to you. So, it's really about standing firm on business. And it's really about just being authentic and having a pure heart. And having kindness. Having a sensitivity. Having... Everything that, that consists on making somebody feel better. Like, never think you're better than the next person. Or never try to even... Even if you have a little jealousy, because we all do have it somewhere in us. Check that shit right at the moment. Like, if that person got more than you, check. If you feel like you've you you you've been working or, or grinding longer than them, check yourself and be like, what I'm not doing? I need to hustle a little bit more because she's or he is inspiring me. You know what I'm saying? Like, check yourself. Um... But yeah, I just wanted to talk to y'all. Like the Bible definitely talks about hatred and betrayal and all this stuff. And it's real out here. It's real. Um, it just is. But yeah, I've been just everywhere. Like as far as with talking about things. So today is like a, a, a vlog where I'm just talking to y'all and I'm cooking. I'm eating some Parmesan cheese. Um, I know y'all looked at the Cat Williams. I don't know how y'all feel about the Cat Williams. Like, do you think he's lying? Do you think he's telling the truth? Me, I know he's telling the truth because he has facts on everything that he's telling. And nobody has never really approached him yet. And if you have approached him, you're not talking about nothing. You know what I'm saying? It's facts. Like, I don't, I, I just feel like people think that, some people think that what he's saying was a lie, you know, because of certain things. But me, personally, I don't. I think it's facts. Um, I think when you get to that type of level of money, it is, you know, I feel like it is something higher up that you have to, you have to be considerate of, you know what I'm saying? And it just depends on if you riding that boat or if you jumping off that boat, you know what I'm saying? Hey. If the shoe fit, wear it. You know what I'm saying? But how y'all feel about K. Williams? I feel like he a real nigga. Like, I really do. And, like, even when Boots did, he made to come in. It was like he just got out of jail. He didn't have nothing. He was down to his legs. How K. Williams gave him that money. Okay. I'm about to put these noodles inside of here real quick. Inside of this sauce with the spinach. The spinach, the pepper, the onions, the chicken, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Woo, I'm making a mess. That's okay. And I really don't feel good, y'all. I, I feel like I'm getting sick. Like I feel under the weather. If that makes sense. I really feel under the weather. I actually needed to be home. I was going to do a closet clean with y'all and organize my 
clogged with that color and get rid of some stuff, even though I already done got rid of some stuff. I just want a whole new look, a whole new, I need to go shopping. I don't know what I want to do for my birthday, y'all. I really don't want to do nothing for my birthday. Then, Foxy Lady telling me, at least do dinner. At least do dinner. I should have cut them dang on noodles up. Now I have to do this. Cut them up a little bit. But, don't judge me. <laughs> but I don't know what I want to do for my birthday. I know um, February is busy. Kiosha's having her 30th party. Um, that's exciting. I found my outfit at a Ross, y'all. I just went today and I was just looking. I was like, let me go try this on because, baby, it's giving $15, $10. Yeah. Just giving it. I found my outfit. It's so cool, y'all. And, yo, I'm going to be fine in it. My fitness um, has been doing great. Have I been able to get up at 5 o'clock this week? No, I haven't because of the weather. Um, But I need to work out. Today, I only did like 40 minutes on the treadmill. My stomach hurt. Mother Nature is here. And it's saying, hello. Did you miss me? I'm back. Mm -hmm. I don't never miss her. Okay? I don't never miss her. But let me tell you something. When she come back, she come back. She be like, welcome back. Welcome back. But yeah. Family out there today. Um, and then Natalie is having her birthday dinner right after Kiosha party at 4 o'clock. I don't know why she done it. Look at me telling me I don't know why she done it. It's her birthday. Oh, Natalie, if you see this vlog, I still love you. But I hope, you know, I be recovered, okay? Um, then my birthday is the following week. I really want to just get a cabin and be alone. I really do. I don't even want to be really bothered on my birthday. I feel like I'm just thankful and I'm blessed to be here. I do this every year. I don't know. I thought I wanted to have another party, but that sh stressed me out last year. And I just don't want to do that. Um, this will be my 34th birthday. And yeah, I don't know what I want to do. I'll probably just go to Atlanta. Yeah. Y'all give me some ideas. Like, what do you think I should do? Chef Nuka, I don't eat all the restaurants down here that I like. It's probably some hidden restaurants that I don't know about. But I want some, I need a, I need a vibe. I need a scenery. I need to feel like the aesthetics is just beautiful. You know what I'm saying? I need the, I need the whole entourage. Like, I need it all. I can't just go get a little bite and then go home. Okay. I want it out. Oh, I got my boots on. I know I'm wrong. I know I'm lying. Okay, y'all. Oh, my stomach hurts so bad. Okay. So, y'all, it's this show that I've been looking at, this series on Apple TV. It's called C. And I forgot the man name, the Aquaman. What's his name? It's the actor, the main character, the guy Aquaman. With his fine ass. What is his name? I'm looking for his name. Jason. That's his name. Like, he play in C. And C is... It's like... Something happened with the world. Um, after, like, when we was here, something happened. You know how, like, if you have... Um, 
an explosion from the radiation. It can do stuff to the animals. It can make you blind or whatever. Basically, the people that survived in the world, it made everybody blind. And it's something that they're breathing or whatever that's going on when they birth babies. Some babies have sight and some don't. And they can see. But it is so good. It's like basically um, fighting for your territory, for your territory, for your family. Um, and, you know, again, women are powerful. And in some of these movies, like the the women rules everything. Like they rule it all. Like, you know what I'm saying? And it's so good. And I'm into it. The keys are gone, if y'all wondering. I know the TV just didn't cut off. The kids are gone. Greg took Katie with him to the gym. I gotta pray on my food. Not this food. And I hold on. And I'm just happy that I got a long time, but I'm actually feeling like I'm getting like some chills. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. And my throat, it ain't hurting. It's just like, you know that pain that you, it's not pain, but it don't feel like normal. You know what I'm saying? And I'm a little sluggish today. So, I don't know. I pray that nothing is wrong or coming on me because the flu is going around bad. Flu is turning to pneumonia. And I don't need that. But this marry me chicken. Pops are so good. It's good. Okay, y'all. I can't talk to y'all no more right now. I'm about to eat and I'm about to look at the rest of this. Because they, sh her sister should have killed her. What's up? It's your girl Raven, one and only Miss Foxy Fit. You already know. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, turn your post notifications on, and let's get straight to this vlog. Man, this shit work. <laughs> Y'all, I'm on the phone with Sharice, and I'm on my way to my papa tree and um, me and what? my I sister. Thought you and, this all you had to do. <laughs> we my mama to try these foods, some Asian place. I said I'm going all the way to Hicks. It. She told me, "Yo, and that shit is nasty. I hate when they <laughs> <laughs> what they be having, Sharice. I don't know their rice. I'm careful for shit and, and girl, she. I don't know what this shit be on." <laughs> Chicken. I don't know. It's nasty. It don't be looking right. It's not the same chicken. It is the same chicken. What is it? Cat? Dog? I don't It ain't regular. No, it's not. It's a it don't deal. Look. And I don't know where I'm at. She's talking about an Asian buffet behind Bargain Honey Heeson. We could have went to all these different restaurants. My papa would choose Asian. Asian food. You got Logan's right here. Come on, you got First Watch. Please leave your message for. Okay, y'all. I'm trying to turn the radio down. So they told me it's called Asian, Asian restaurant. It's called Buffet King. Yeah, listen. I found it. I found it. I got here. Okay. But y'all, today was a great day. Yesterday wasn't a great day. It was a great day. I ain't even gonna say it wasn't a great day. All days are great days. Shoot, I'm alive, I'm blessed, heart flowing, bumping, beating, blood in the body, warm, you know what I'm saying? Am I in the right place? Or is this a hospital? Okay, I'm in the right place. Oh, crunch fitness right here. Um, look at that. Okay. What I was about to say. So I woke up this morning. First of all, Mother Nature has took me out the game yesterday. I was literally in the bed the whole entire day. I'm not playing with y'all. This did not say Asian. This ain't Buffet King. I was in the bed all day yesterday. Today, I knew I had to get these orders out of the tea. Y'all, 
thank you so much god thank you so much to the people who love and support me i really 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 appreciate it but your girl sold out again i had to go to the post office and mail out um to maryland new york and atlanta whoop 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 good on out of two two three whoop 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 Woo, woo, woo. Okay, and then I had people to meet me to pick up their tea at the post office that lives in the city. And <clears throat> yeah, yeah, so I ain't got nothing to complain about. Nothing, really, you know what I'm saying? Nothing at all. I'm, I'm busy. Then I had to run to Office Depot to get some more printouts for my bottles because I sold out. Um, and baby, let me tell y'all something. I'm looking for my handicap tag. Don't judge me. Oh, here you go, right here. Supposed to be had my retainers in. Got it. Don't judge me, but I got a handicap, okay? Hold on, y'all. Ching, 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 I had a good time talking to my papa them. I didn't vlog it because he had somebody with him and I didn't know if she wanted to be posted. You know what I'm saying? So I didn't even post my name, record, but I'm gone. I did not eat. I played over there. I took little niblets, little niblet bites. I'm about to get out of here. I got to go get come over and do her hair. And yeah, I know what I'm doing for my birthday. I said I need to go to Ulta. But we'll see. I might go to Ulta. You pull That's up good. at Dairy Queen. I mean, Chick fil A. And I said, You pay for your own food, my mom. She said, Okay, I got money. Okay. So then we pull up. Ain't nobody out here taking no orders. This the first time. So we pull up and she was like, I got this gift card. You think I should use it? I said, Why wouldn't you? You don't think I should save it for another time? I said, My mom. If you want to pay cash, if you want to buy it now, it don't matter. Would you? She give me this and say, slide it right here on the arm raise, and then she gonna say, can you pay the difference? <laughs> can you pay the difference? <laughs> so how much your how much your food about to be even more? Twenty dollars? Eighteen? What are you about to get? You know what you about to get for eighteen dollars? Mango passion lemonade for the drink. Alright. And on that club, could you do American cheese? It's an American cheese? Yes, sir. Alright. I was going to get you first day. That would be it. Uh, no, that's not all. Can I get a small order of the chicken tortilla soup, please? Alright, do you want any sauces? Um, I don't want any sauces with the soup. Can I get barbecue in Polynesia, please? Yeah. Alright. So yep. a grill club meal with American cheese, medium fry, and mango passion fruit lemonade, or mango passion lemonade, and then a tortilla soup, and then barbecue Polynesian. Yes, sir. All right, that's 1977. I feel like that. Thank you. My pleasure. I'm excited <coughs> about my birthday too, y'all. So we are headed to ATL. I'm going to a restaurant, and I do have a color palette that I want the girls to wear. Mm -hmm. It's giving tropical colors, okay, but no prints. And we're gonna have a ball, okay? But Jay just takes talking about a damn sprinter van. <laughs> I don't know if I agree with Jay. I'm about to have to take something back and say a sprinter van. <laughs> I got this seasonal mango lemon. Look at this. This is the size of my head. What is this gonna do for me? Oh, I don't want to be in your picture. It's okay. <laughs> she laughed. <laughs> what the heck? This what is 
this is gonna do for me? What? What is this? And she wanna taste it. <laughs> and this time, this time. <laughs> That's how they are with the seasonal drinks. Okay, seasonal cup and drink. Maybe you get that down about four fifty. It's gone. It ain't wrong for charging this price. It's our seasonal of a drink. Yeah, seasonal. I made it back home. I am about to get ready to do this child head a mask. I'm looking up because I don't want to do it, but I'm about to do it. Y'all, this is the kind of van Jay said that we need to rent out to go to Atlanta. Nisha said it'll be fun on FaceTime when they... <laughs> it might be. I'm at Boat House, y'all. I'm at Boat House. Oh, it's officially Aquarius season, okay? It's officially Aquarius season. Y'all already know this. Y'all already know that I'm at my place that I like to eat it. Look who came with me. <laughs> My mama, you need to get me some oysters. Yeah, I don't know. I might get something else. I think I just want oysters. Yeah, I know this vlog was everywhere. But your girl ended up testing positive for COVID. Um, I don't have like a fever, but my sense of smell and taste is completely gone. Um, I've been having like bad, bad, bad migraines. Like, very bad migraines so yeah but this vlog came to an end y'all will see me again this week but i'm gonna try to get me some rest so that's why i haven't posted my vlog but yeah pray for me y'all pray for me pray for me thank y'all for loving liking subscribing sharing all the above i'll see y'all later bye Y'all don't do about it. These wheels keep rolling, rolling. I'm outside, 29, G5, Seaside. I've been losing friends and finding peace. But honestly, that sounds like a fair trade to me. If I ever heard one, and I'm still here. Outside, front line, south side. I've been losing friends and finding peace. Honestly.